Sagittarius, and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin, and today, Sag, we're going to do a you versus them. I have not wanted done of these. Oh my god, I can't even talk. I have not done one of these types of readings in a hot minute, so I figured let's get them done. <laughs> so this is about you and someone on your mind. So this, per this side is the person on your mind, this side is you, and the middle is your mutual energies. And Sagittarius, to say thank you for all of your comments, your kind words, your support. I would like to offer you all I can offer you to say thanks, which is a free tarot reading. So if you're interested in one of those, there's a contest again, another secret one on this video, only this video, Sag. So if you want to enter, just you know what to do, typical YouTube style, comment, like, subscribe. Um, and in one week, next Monday, I will be putting out, oh my God, I didn't look at the calendar to see the date, but March 14th, today's, what is today? <laughs> on March 14th, I believe, I will be replying to the comments of the winners. I always pick a couple. So you know what to do. All right, let's talk. This is your person's feelings. This is your person's intentions. We're going to do yours first, though, so you can find out if it resonates before you sit here and listen for 15 minutes and waste your motherfucking time if it ain't your reading. All right, so how does Sagittarius feel about the person on their mind? How is Sagittarius feeling? Talk to us. What's going on with the Sagittarius? Whoa. We have the Hierophant. Oh, no, that's the Emperor. Ooh, the Emperor over here is upright. But over on your side, he's in reverse. Damn. <laughs> so let's see what that's all about. What else we got? How sad you feeling about this person? We have the Princess of Swords. So the Page of Swords. Are you spying on them, Saji? And we have the Five of Cups in reverse. And Sagittarius' intentions and actions in the near future. What is Saji going to do? Talk to us. What do they plan on doing here? We have the Two of Swords in reverse. You've made a choice. We have the world. Inter this is fucking interesting. Holy shit. Hold on. Let's get into this. Look at this. This is bizarre. Look at Okay. So your energy is strength. Leo energy here, Sag. But what? Look at this. I put my cards in weird spots. But the emperor in reverse, the emperor upright, the world upright, but the world in reverse. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if you guys are on the same page, but let's find out. Let's see what that's all about. All right. What is the mutual energy? The mutual energy between Sag and the person on their mind? Talk to us. What's going on? It is. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And on the bottom, whoop, calling in your soulmate. So your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations will help bring you together. All right, let's get into this. So the Emperor in reverse, Princess of Swords, Five of Cups in reverse. Sag, it sounds like, um, let's get some clarity on the Emperor in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries, but you're dealing with an... <laughs> I'm not even joking. I know you can see that. Oh, I know you see it. I know you see that Empress over there. So we got ourselves a divine couple. Oh, fuck. And there's the Page of Swords again. Damn. So, Saji, you're, um, take it how it resonates, but <laughs> you're, there's the Five of Cups. There's it upside down. You're keeping, you're keeping an eye on this person. So you are the Empress here. So you're the feminine that I'm speaking to. Doesn't mean you're the woman. You're just the feminine energy in the relationship. Um, uh, you're definitely keeping an eye on them. You're definitely watching this person. But with them being as the emperor in reverse, you're pissed off. They're upright and you're upright. But for you, or maybe you think they're pissed off. Maybe you're, what is this page of swords? Strength again. Ace of pentacles in reverse. You're definitely not, um, I don't think you're speaking to this person. And if you are speaking to them, six of swords in reverse. Um, yeah. Things are at a halt with this person. So the person on your mind, you're definitely not on positive terms with them at the moment. You're watching them. You miss them, though. It's taking you a lot of strength. Why is the courage here? Why is the strength here twice for Sag? What do you want to say about that? Why is that here twice? Which is the message you would like to repeat to Sagittarius about this. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Oh, the Eight of Wands in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse. Is there another one flip? I don't even know these cards. What the f I know this card flip. There's the Emperor in reverse. Okay. Is that what I think it is? The Knight of Pentacles. And on the bottom, we have, again, Five Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of fives. Ultimately here, um, it's taking a lot of courage to not talk to this person or to walk away from this person. It's taking a lot of strength from you, but this is what you consider best right now. This is what you think is the best. With the Emperor in reverse twice, you think that this Emperor, this, uh, this masculine is angry or you think that they're being manipulative, or you think that they're being stubborn as fuck. Like the Emperor in Reverse can just be really bullheaded, really stubborn, just really, um, it's really annoying. <laughs> but 
the Knight of Pentacles is here. So it's like, you still have hope, but you really do feel like this person's angry. And I feel like right now, the best thing is for you just to walk away and not really talk and say much. But that's not what you want. So in the near future, your intentions are the Two of Swords in reverse with the world and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like you've... Um, You've made the choice that you want a new cycle or an, or you want to close it. Let's see what this world is. Page of Pentacles in reverse. So Page of Pentacles in reverse. And the Queen of Cups in reverse. I think, Sag, your intentions and your feelings in the near future to do nothing. I think you don't think that there's really anything left here. You're feeling like the Queen of Wands, though. So you're feeling pretty attractive. So you might be getting attention in other areas. As far as this person on your mind, I think you think it's over and you're you're thinking something new's coming around, but that's not what I see in their energy. <laughs> um, so the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Six of Wands, the Three of Wands in reverse, and or sorry, Judgment in reverse, the Three of Wands, and the Six of Wands. So yeah, you feel like this is kind of done and over with, but you're waiting at the same time. It's like, it's like you. <laughs> I feel like you're definitely getting attention from other people too, which is probably going to complicate things a little bit more because you feel this person's pissed. I don't think they're as mad as you think they are. Maybe they are. We'll get into it. You're cut. You're waiting for them. Um, maybe you're waiting for an apology. Maybe they're waiting for an apology from you. Somebody's waiting on somebody. I feel like you're waiting for them. And in the meantime, you're just giving your attention to other people and other people are giving yours, but it's taking you a lot of courage not to talk. There's the five of wands. It's taking you, or maybe you're the one that's really mad. Um, either way, you're definitely watching them. Someone, you think somebody is really pissed off. Let's get to their side and see. Who, okay, let's ask this question. Who's Saji? Who's pissed? <laughs> is Saji pissed? Or is the Saji think that the Emperor is pissed? Oh, is that the Empress again? She's in reverse. Five of Cups in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Six of Wands. You're pissed. You're pissed, Saj. So you're the Emperor in reverse. So, so or maybe you think that they're... We have the emperor and the empress in reverse. So you're upset with this person about something and you're waiting for an apology. And until they give you an apology, you're not budging either. Um, and you're getting attention from other people. So it's, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. You're just kind of waiting for this person, really. Um, let's get to this person here. Two of pentacles in reverse, justice in reverse, the emperor. See, they think what happened wasn't fair. Um, but they're not mad. They're like bossing up here. They know what they want. I feel like they're about to come in and take control here. What do you want to say about the two of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, look at that. They're wishing for this to, they're hurt. So they're hurt. They think it's uh, very unfair what happened. Um, sorry, I don't know what that is. They're very unfair. They, they're hurt. They're dreaming of you. They're thinking of you though. They want to reconnect here with the world in reverse. That's their actions in the near future. They got unfinished business, Sag. So they're coming in bossed up here. They got some unfinished business. What happened in this person's mind is unjust. They don't think it's fair. And they want to tell you. <laughs> they want to take control. They want to boss up and they want to tell you um, that they don't think it was fair. So they definitely are going to come in here and have a conversation with this world in reverse. What are they going to say? What do they want to talk about? What, are they, what do you want to say about this? Oh, shit, eh? There's the star in reverse. <laughs> and there... <laughs> I'd like, seriously, when we came up here, it was like that and the justice in reverse. And now we come into the near future, justice is upright and the star is in reverse. They do feel like you've let them go and that it's really, that it's hopeless. But they're coming in to tell you that they miss you. Um, the magician, they're not happy not talking to you. They want... To, um, yeah, you're... See, they're watching you too. You guys are both watching each other. Um, they want justice. So they want to reconnect here. They're holding on to you. This is what they see with you, Saj. So you're all feeling all hopeless, getting of attention from other motherfuckers over here. And they're sitting here dreaming of you and thinking of you. The chariot, five pentacles in reverse. They're coming forward here, Saj. What's on the bottom? Hermit. They've had an enlightenment. They've had their aha moment. They know what they want. They're coming to get you. They're coming to get their Saji. They don't want to be left out in the cold. They don't want to be hang left hanging anymore. They don't want to be in this position that they're in. And look at what's, like, can you see what he's poking his little head out there? Look at that. The Page of Cups, baby. So they're going to give you their cup of love. It's coming in. Um, how do you feel about that? Because <laughs> um, How does Saji feel about this? How does Saji feel about it? Talk Page of Swords in reverse. You're going to be guarded. Oh, yeah. So you know they're coming. 
your intuition's guiding you here. You're going to be a little bit guarded here. You are ready to drop it, though, and um, move forward. You're waiting for them to come forward. So it's like you knew they were coming. You're just fucking waiting for this stubborn-ass motherfucker, basically. Um, you probably know this person very well. <laughs> and you know they think you're the king of wands, so they find you extremely attractive. They can't, they, you know, they can't take their eyes off you. You're just waiting for this person. You know that they're going to come forward. You know probably what they're going to say to you, too. Um, so let's get a few advice and a few oracle messages and we'll find where the outcome is. So we'll do potential outcome where it is in a month from now between you and this person. But ultimately, I feel like it's taking a lot of strength to stay away from them, but you're doing that right now. You're just, uh, <laughs> you're just doing that. You're just waiting. They got to come and apologize for something. <laughs> All right. So from my, from my view here, this person, um, needs to come forward and rectify the situation. So what do you have to surrender to, Sag? You have to surrender to inner peace. So cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy inner refuge. Others will follow your good vibes and your life will flow more easily. We'll find out about those two. I was just thinking about those while I was reading that. Um, and when we get to the outcome, we'll find out if we have to get clarity on them. If that doesn't make sense then, then we shall. Um, but what is the lesson here? What is the lesson, Sag, you're supposed to learn from this person, from this experience? Whoa, indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life, right? <laughs> I was just talking about how your intuition is going to guide you. You know. You already know this person's coming forward to talk to you. You know they miss you. I think you can feel it. All right. What is the energy oracle message here for Sag? What will help Sag as she goes through this? She, as she or he, as they go through this. I don't know why I said that. Sorry, Sag. All right. Look at you. got all kinds of them. Talk to us. What's the message here for Sag? Dude. Okay, that had to stay. So we have Garden in the Gate in Reverse, Healer of the Ages, Community in Reverse, Angel of Strength, and Angel... Ooh, this came out, like, how many times? This is Leo. This is, again, this is the Strength card. So, quite frankly, right now, Sag, it's kind of impressive. You're not playing it safe anymore. Maybe in the past you did play it safe, and you let this person kind of uh, treat you less than stellar, or maybe you've learned some lessons. But with this upside down, it's like you've walked through the gate, and you're going on your own adventure. You're not staying inside this little comfort zone anymore. You've really done the work to heal. You've worked through um, your, you know, you've worked through your shadows. You're working through those aspects of yourself. You're healing yourself on multiple levels, you know. Um, you're doing the soul work, baby. It's taking you a lot of courage and it's taking you a lot of strength. But I do feel like maybe there's a message here that, number one, um, maybe you've isolated yourself or you haven't, let your friends help you or you haven't been going out enough. So I feel like there's a message there to have fun a little bit more, especially as we're coming into spring and summer. Um, and with the seven chakra upside down, there is a slight block to your crown chakra, to your intuition here. So it's just a message to maybe do some chakra work. If you don't know what that means and you don't want to, ignore that message. If you want to do some chakra work, maybe do some guided meditations um, and just get that energy flowing so that you can better connect to your intuition so you make the right choice because... Um, this person's coming back. So let's see if there's any other messages that the cards want to say before we get your potential outcome. Do you have anything else you'd like to say, Sagittarius? How about this, please? Okay. We have the Sun in reverse, the Ten of Wands, Three of Swords in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse, and Justice. Ooh. Um, so what are they trying to say to you? And there's a Six of Cups, so... <laughs> This person's coming back. They are not happy. Um, but the big message here is not about them, Sag. It's about you. So I feel like there's a really big burden. There's a lot of obstacles that you've overcome with this person. But I feel like you've also grown a lot um, with this person. And there's a message here to be... Um, if you want justice, if you want fairness, if you want equality, I feel like there's a real strong message here about... Um, how can I say this? <laughs> yeah. mm. um, okay. Be strategic in the way you go about this, but be careful not to self-sabotage. We'll just say it. This three of swords is the card of self-sabotage. And this is the card of being honest, revealing things. So there's something here that um, is a habit or a pattern that is not benefiting you. And it's letting you know when it comes to this person, um, be honest and be real with yourself. Be realistic. Don't... Um, don't look at things through blinders or anything like that and make sure that you're putting yourself first and you're not doing anything that will harm you in any way, whether it be emotional, mostly emotionally. I hope there's nothing physically, but you know what I'm saying? That will harm you or not benefit you in the long run. 
and that's how this will equal itself out and that's how um yeah that's what i see there so just be careful and make sure that you, you think about yourself too here when it comes to the situation because this person's not happy they're coming forward oh they're definitely coming forward all right where did i put that there it is let's get your potential outcome sag so I, again i think i already explained it but i'll do it again so potential is um potential because there's free will and outcome is where is it going to be in a month from now how is this conversation going to go what's taking place this person misses sag they're bossing up they're coming forward are they coming forward correct let's find out how do things go with this person and sagittarius talk to us what does sag you do what choice do they make so we have judgment okay so the magician in reverse high priestess six of wands and the two of wands in reverse and on the bottom we have the king of swords so look at all these major arcanas one two three right in a row so they did come back this is my not only reconciliation card but sincere apology card so this person came back right sag um they came back and they communicated that they don't like that you guys aren't communicating and it was all in your court you're the high priestess here it was all up to you as to what you want to do with this person i feel like um you know <laughs> I feel like you're sitting on your throne. You're the Queen of Wands, King of Swords here, raising your sword, listening, being logical, being intelligent. But you know in your heart that you have a really strong connection with this person. You give them attention and you take action and move forward with them. So, Sag, this person comes back and they apologize the right way. And it uh, works out good for you guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot to terrify that. But there's their strength. See what I mean? You guys definitely are mirroring each other. <laughs> there's the strength again. But it, this has been really difficult for them. They've um, They miss you. They want to reconcile and they're coming back the right way to do that for you. Um, so Sag, let's see if there's any other messages before we get to your yes or no question. Don't forget, if you like my style, if you like the reading, um, if you want one, <laughs> to say thank you for all your support. And there's the Queen of Swords. This is a divine couple. Yeah, a very intelligent divine couple, but um, that's what it wanted to show us. Look at that. <laughs> the lovers with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So this is a good partnership. Things will work out between you and the person that's on your mind. Um, and in a month from now, I see you working through whatever that conflict is that you're going through at the moment. So again, that cut off, but if you want to enter into the free reading, it's just this, this video. And on March 14th, I will reply to the winners. Let's get your yes or no question to close out your reading Sag. So the yes or no, what is the answer? The answer is yes. So that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for watching.